As long as you consider yourself as a consumer, you're fucked. Greenwashing means that companies are presenting themselves as uh, sustainable, more sustainable or more fair as they really are. One of the striking moments was, of course, when we were standing on a, on a big, huge field, only ashes, where, and we knew that three days ago there was a lively rain, primary rainforest on this place. And this is, of course, uh, a very shocking moment because you realize that, I mean, animals, uh, everything is just burned down in the name of profit because they're burning down the rainforest to, to make uh, palm oil plantations and then in the end they deliver the palm oil to Europe and sell it here, in, uh, sell it everywhere on, uh, on the planet as uh, sustainable palm oil. Greenwashing started in the 1970s when um, uh, people realized that industry is destroying nature and that we need to pay attention to the environment. And you could have expected that corp uh, corporations are then changing and, and producing in a better way, that, but that's not what they did. What they did is they started to tell us their green lies, telling us everything is green, everything is fair, everything is sustainable. <music> Everybody can make a label, there's no uh, regulation, so everyone can, can make his own label. As long as you consider yourself as a consumer, you're fucked. In the supermarket or in a shop and you need some stuff, then you're, you need to make this decision, is this product good or not, is this better than this or not. That's not possible because you cannot be an expert, and this is what we also show in the film, what Raj Patel, Professor Raj Patel says. You cannot be an expert in all kinds of things, in labor law, in nutrition, in transportation system, in you name it. That's not possible. It's always the same thing. They, um, they know, they, one time a, a scientist find, finds out this is, a, for example, a material which is harming um, uh, human health, which is harming the environment, this shouldn't be there. Then they, there is a long discussion and while uh, those years are passing, industry is finding, is thinking of new ways, but they are not doing anything because the cheapest way is still the, the, using the material which harms human health, which harms the environment. And then once law is coming and saying, for example, this, this substance is now forbidden, then a couple of days later they are presenting the new product. This is how it works. But all the years it gives the companies extremely much profit. Every day they are earning millions and millions. It's your responsibility or our responsibility, but also our right to say, well, we don't accept that uh, industry is producing um, products and, and which is uh, not okay to the human rights, which uh, where they take uh, drinking water away from uh, from human beings, where they uh, they do land grabbing or even take people's lives away, or where they're systematically destroying nature. This is not okay. And the, our right is to say, stop this. The more this awareness is growing, the sooner politicians will uh, react and the stronger they are when they are facing industry lobby and the sooner we will have better uh, regulations and better, a better system.